boy. Look at this ugly thing. What are we doing here? Oh, getting ready on the dyno. Alrighty, got the methanol injection disconnected. And I'm um, going to do a little bit of baseline tune. I'm going to go ahead and turn the boost controller off. Oh, look, it's already off. Just So we kind of have an idea. I think it's... Uh, I think even with the boost controller off, it still makes about a bar, depending on uh, depending on what we're doing here. So, we're going to try and do a little comparo of the RSI Stage 3 camshaft um, that can still be found out and about. I have two of them, uh, and I'm not I'm not terribly happy with the performance of this camshaft. It's pretty gutless down low, which they kind of said it would be. I imagine this cam would be great. Oh, Kenny's doing his video too. Uh, I figured they'd probably be great at uh, like a really big turbine housing, big turbine turbo, somewhere, you know, 45 to 7,000 RPM range, but even there, it doesn't really like it. I think it's got a little more overlap. I don't have any specs on this camshaft, and if anybody's got them, provide them. I'd love to see it. Um, but we're going to we're gonna make a couple of baseline pulls with this, make sure everything's good, and then we're going to swap it out and put a good old fashioned IPD turbo cam, or I think real similar to like an NM V15. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we'll see where we go. All right, so I got our, we got the guy right there, Mr. Howard. <laughs> and we're looking at this damn dynograph. We've made a couple pulls. We'll make another one here on the video. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong spot. Um, it's making more power than we thought. I'm not saying I'm upset about that. I'm just saying I'm surprised. So uh, that last pull was from way down low, and we we had a um, a hold time on the on the start of the dyno pull to where it, it held it, it for a couple of seconds to get it loaded up really good. So the intake air temps are going to be higher. So the power, the peak power, and that's the green line if you can tell from this. But it made you know 222 and 253 torque, and it hung it all the way out there. To, I mean, I, I rev it to seven grand because I've got springs and retainers and it's got rods in it, so why not? Um, and we're, we're going to try and find out where it quits. And we know this RSI cam is probably going to make its power up high. That I understand. Um, but it had a little bit of knock on that pull up towards the top. I added a little bit of fuel, uh, but it was, I don't think, I mean, I think it's just the intake air temps got high and that's why it started knocking. This is a... Uh, was it a late model 740, 940 intercooler, the bigger one? Yep. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll make one more pull here real quick. Get the data log going. Just so we have that data. And the intake air temps on that pull, like the red line were, yeah, 100 and, 118, 119 degrees. Not crazy hot, but I know it's hotter than that because these GM air intake temperature sensors, they don't react that quickly. So I would probably stack at least 10 or 20 degrees on that yeah. number. I think probably safely, yeah. So I want to get one of those Rife sensors that's really fast acting. Yeah. Let's see what that oh, is. yeah, they're badass. Can't hide money, though, you know. <laughs> bucks for good data. What do you want? That's right. So anyway, uh, you know, power, you know, air-fuel ratio, everything looks all right. It's, it's, it's in the hole. I mean, it's like... A le low 11s air fuel ratio. Let's see, what's it? 1140, so it's real safe. Um, you know, um, maximum boost, 13 and a half pounds, so we're not, you know, 16 degrees of ignition time, 16 and a half. We're not, we're not crazy with it. Uh, this cam, RSI Stage 3, it's, it's advanced a bit. I don't remember exactly how much. When we pull it out, we'll note that and, uh, and get back with you, so, uh, Let's uh, start with data log, bring it on up here. All right, good. Skip it up forward, there we go. All right, active live data. And uh, we're doing these pulls in second gear with uh, a little bit of work done to the, um, to the uh, kick down cable to keep it from downshifting. So uh, the, uh, the methanol injection is turned off, so. But I'll leave that there so you can get a, an idea of what the boost looks like. So, see if I can hold this still and do all this at the same time. You ready? Alright, 
see what we got here. So, I heard that knock. Yeah, I heard that knock. <laughs> yeah, we pinged a little bit up there at the top, which, right. you know, we kind of know. Um, get rid of all the runs except the last one. I think that's a good baseline right there, that, that run right there. So, um, if we can look at this. So, it made 223, point, almost 224 horsepower, 245 torque. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get up here and see a little bit better. RPM. About seven, yeah. So, peak um, power at 6, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it made that peak power right at 6,000 RPM. It made, made torque down here low, but I have to pull a lot of timing out of it to keep it from just knocking its brains out. And even then, it's still knocking. This is also a high compression motor. It's a 9.8 to 1 uh, V230F, late 93, stock bottom end, well abused and loved motor. So, you know. Um, but yeah, so. We'll claim this is the uh, the baseline for the RSI Stage 3. And we're back. <laughs> so, uh, quick 30-minute cam swap just to see where we were at. Um, not a whole lot of big changes. It uh, A little bit leaner in the mid-range. No changes tuning-wise. Uh, the RSI stage cam, stage three cam was at four degrees advanced. I was doing that to try and get the um, try and get the the power to hang on. But uh, oh, Kenny's doing his video at the same time. So so the uh, the fourth run was the last RSI run. It is in dark green, and the. The, uh, the last two runs were with uh, no changes at all. It's a uh, straight up on the on the cam timing, no ignition changes, no fueling changes at all, none, and um, definitely made more torque. Yeah, I guess we should be looking at this one right here. Well, it doesn't matter. No, um, but the orange, you know, the orange one is, you know, definitely the, the torque number is up is, higher, is, is the RSI and it cam. stays up higher. And um, I think Kenny and myself, first thing we notice is. Not a peep and knock. Not at all. No, no noise at all. No tuning changes. So we're gonna um, we're gonna fuck with the timing. Yep. Add a little timing. Oh yeah. You know, and uh, see what we can come up with. I, I think I got a probably my valve cover gasket got a little ripped because it's oozing it, it, a little bit. It's got a little. Yeah, it's a little smoky, but that'll be all right. We'll fix that later. And uh, the and oh, by the way, so the valve lash far from optimal. Yeah, we got a couple cool. of them that are pretty damn tight. Unfortunately, and those are on the exhaust valves, and we got a couple of them that are a bit loose. Um, but we're not going to worry about it because that's that's the turbo brick way. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to it here. All right, we're done here. There's the man. <laughs> uh, well, you, you know, uh, the number one uh, troller. <laughs> so here we go. Um, this was. Uh, Basically, the Comparo between the RSI Stage 3, which is the the lower number of the green line. Uh, hold on, let's look at this monitor a little bit easier. Yeah. They're the green line. And the IPD Turbo Cam. Um, really, we made some changes to the tune with the uh, IPD Turbo Cam to take advantage of it because I had had plenty of time to take advantage of the tuning in the... Um, with the RSI Stage Three, I mean, and, and it was it was pretty much there. We added timing with the RSI Stage Three. It's it's a lot knockier. I think it's probably got a bit more um, overlap. When you say, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, you know, it's not the big, huge numbers that I think we both thought was going to be. I I, I was kind of thinking it was going to be closer to like twenty five or thirty horsepower difference. Maybe that was a little optimistic of me. Um, but to be fair, also I'm leaving probably some power on the table with the uh, valve, valve lash. lash. Yeah, so I got you know literally just pulled the RSI cam out, <laughs> threw the IPD cam in, <laughs> put a little oil on it, and sent it, and that was about it. And so um, you know uh, I, I know there's a couple of exhaust valves that are pretty tight, like tighter than nine thousandths, and uh, a couple of uh, a couple of valves that were also loose, <laughs> like looser than uh, looser than eighteen or nineteen. Yeah, you could hear them. So you're leaving stuff on the table when you do that kind of stuff. Um, and the the tight valve lash, especially on the exhaust valves, uh, will get that exhaust valve really hot if it doesn't close up tight and induce uh, knock. knock yeah. So, um, but with the IPD cam, we could run a little bit more timing, which uh, you know, not a whole lot more. Uh, really, in the middle, almost none. 
uh, but on the top end, um, better. And, you know. Well, I mean, even in the middle where we didn't run any more timing, it made more torque. Yep. Yep, exactly. And it made a lot more torque below. Yeah, so, I mean, and if you look at the torque line, it's up everywhere. And we tried to trim it down because, you know, to make them look as even as possible so that there wasn't any kind of question about it. So that's why both runs look like they start at 2100 RPM. Um, but this is on the wastegate. Uh, also with the IPD cam, it did seem to run about a half a pound more boost um, for whatever reason. Uh, no, no, no boost controller change. I mean, the boost controller was turned off. So, um, yeah. So that's good. Uh, bad news. Uh, we decided to try and push it with the uh, IPD cam, and we're having some success. Hey, pull up that. Yeah, I, I guess pull up the uh, one of the last runs. And uh, if you've tuned many of these uh, Volvos with the automatic, or even like some of the Toyotas with automatics, uh, the key is you want it. You don't want it to kick down. And if you uh, you have so you need to take the uh, kick down cable off. But you don't need to leave it loose. You need to actually put a little preload on it. And what we typically do is put a pair of ice grips on it right there. And it just, with it uh, a little bit tighter, that um, raises the line pressure in the transmission so the clutches hold. Well, a little bit on a... We had a run with the boost turned up to probably about 18 and a half pounds. And the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the something didn't sound right. I thought, well, that's odd. Let me back off the tune a little bit and see what happens. Made another pull. Definitely not right. <laughs> And, um, smell the transmission fluid. yeah, smell the transmission fluid. <laughs> so it's, and, and we tried to make a couple pulls after we figured out it was the, the kick down cable was off. But, uh, I think that at that point the damage is done. And with these transmissions, you really only get, <laughs> you only yeah. get a couple of shots doing that and, and you've roached it. So, uh, Kenny's getting ready to build a, a transmission for his, uh, for his black wagon. And, uh, I said, well, let me order another kit. We'll do them side by side. Right. Right. So, <laughs> So anyway, so we're gonna do this and uh pulled up if you want to Oh yeah, let's look at the let's look at the the high horsepower. So this is um high horsepower, kind of a joke, but eleven more. Yeah, so that was um that was two forty four was a, a lot more boost. Um but as you can see it, it really hung it up top almost, a lot better. Saying, and almost three hundred foot pounds of torque I too. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not pulling On the, the torque. Yeah, I mean the peak torque is right to two ninety one. I don't know why it didn't put the number up there. Yeah, so yeah, 291 torque, and uh, I think the previous was like, what, 268 well, yeah. torque? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I think there's some some issues with the cylinder head on my car. Um, it's a head that I put a bigger exhaust valves in, and what's that? I said, what RPM was the max torque at? Because you may have disabled it when you cleaned up. No, nah, you, can, you can see it up there. It's, okay. it's I don't know why, it's it's up there on the uh -huh. on there, but it, uh, it just for some reason didn't giving the number but yeah i didn't put the number in the, the legend the legend number. it doesn't matter it's all Quantum. just for figuring it out but um <clears throat> yep yay yeah so we'll uh go screw around with some other stuff still a good day <laughs> no rods on the ground just a little transmission oil burn up a couple of clutches so uh stay tuned <laughs>